Hey Taurus, how are you doing? This reading is for Taurus for the week of October the 28th to November the 3rd. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind this is a general read. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And if you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can do so in the description box below. Click on the link. It will take you to the website and you can check out the options there. And a shout out and a thank you for all the way that you like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I couldn't do these readings without your wonderful support. So thank you so much. What is going on for the fabulous and most beautiful Tauruses? What do you need to know? What do you need to see for your highest good? Present time, the nine of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. What's coming towards you, the fool. Major Arcana 4, Aries. What you are focused on is the Six of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. In your blocked and challenged position is Temperance. Major Arcana 4, Sagittarius. And your outcome is the Tower. Major Arcana 4, Scorpio. Okay. Taurus, let's clarify this and find out what is going on present time you have the nine of swords and the nine of swords can be sleepless nights anxiety worry and I feel like you're overthinking some kind of new beginning here because the fool card is about taking some kind of leap of faith or a risk and the universe is lining things up perfectly in the background you just have to trust it and go with the flow and the fool is about having little to no worry little to no baggage this is also, you know, stressed out, thinking and thinking and overthinking about a person, place, or a situation to the point where you're paralyzed in thought and can't take action. And this is a beautiful journey because it's like lighthearted, youthful, innocent. You could be a little bit shy of putting yourself out there or doing this. It could be starting some kind of new business. Or there's an energy of revisiting old plans that you had in the back of your mind. And you're overthinking it. So rest your head, rest your thoughts. And thinking worst case scenario when worst case scenario never happens. That's just us making it up in our head that holds us back from something we wish for, dream of, and want. What is this nine of swords? There could also be somebody who's like stressed out and worried that you're taking some kind of new beginning as well and the knight of swords gemini libra aquarius energy and the knight of swords is the get up and go energy the sudden change in focus the sudden change in direction and to rest these thoughts or to get more sleep don't second guess yourself because like this is the get up and go energy staying laser focused and on task or there is something about a needing to push it might be time sensitive see how this person has their sword up it's almost like you've placed a boundary with your mind and then clarity so it's almost like you're racing thoughts and then you have clarity so when you have this clarity you're ready to go. There could also be some kind of paperwork that you need to handle that's time sensitive. So this could be like second chances coming back around for a job opportunity. Because the Six of Cups is like nostalgic thoughts of the past, reminiscing when times were good, when times were fun, when times were easy. Or like moving home or something that feels more easy. This is a lighter approach. It could also be with a friend, friend, sibling, soulmate energy. What is this fool card? Let's see what this fool card is. Yeah, no attachment to the outcome. You're just going to go with the flow and see what happens. Yeah, pack light. And the king of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Wow. And the king of swords is, here's the facts. It is also a contract. It's a second opinion or getting some kind of advice. So you might want to take 
or get a second opinion here before you sign anything. Because the King of Swords could be like a judge, a lawyer, a doctor, an attorney. Or a straight shooter. This person is definitely very logic. But, you know, the fool, that's Aries energy. Aries energy is about confidence, independence. You might be doing something singular or solo. But I like this energy energy because it's truthful. It's honest. It's very diplomatic. Stoicism. You could be really quiet about this. Maybe only one and another person knows this. What is this? Six of Cups. And the Page of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Well, that's my frisky kitty. That's my childlike energy. New beginning, new opportunity, new possibility. This is about good news. Or inspiration, creativity, passion, desire. Very artsy fartsy. And a light, innocent, youthful side of you coming out. This is taking things a little bit seriously or personally. Or there might be another situation that you have to handle and it is time sensitive and serious. But this page of wands is like, I'm limitless when it comes to adjacent doors available to me with job and career. I'm limitless of where I would like to live. I uh, limitless with 8 billion people on the planet to date. There could be an energy because in your blocked and challenged position is temperance and temperance is about divine guidance or there's an energy about compromise. It's like you don't want to compromise with another person here. Somebody could be very firm and rigid and like set in their ways of uh, not wanting to compromise or there is somebody who has a uh, like a bad temper. Because temperance is about healing and compromise. But it's in your blocked and challenged position. So it's either like somebody is like a little bit forceful in the way they communicate. They come from a place of scarcity. And you're in your focus, you're just like this little playful curious, exciting type of an energy. And then there's like some kind of serious contract here. Or you're dealing with somebody who is a little bit more logic, very logic. Like things need to add up. And with the temperance, it's like mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually grounding your energy. Or there's something about Maybe you believe something differently than this other person. Or there's something about not healing and not compromising. Somebody's like, yeah, don't settle. What is this? What is this temperance card? And the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Knight of Wands, typical court card, is Sagittarius and Temperance. So this is like a free-spirited type of an energy, marching to the beat of their own drum. Or you have somebody who is flaky, fickle, they're one day, gone the next. And then you have somebody who is sharp, sharp-minded, um, comes with the truth, very clear, and like pers like precision, very precise, this other individual. And I feel like there could have been some kind of like pushy energy coming from a person who has anger issues. Because this could be somebody who is very charming, charismatic. But really, they have deep-rooted insecurities. Or something about travel. There could be some kind of travel plans. 
Because this is like a fast-moving energy. Or distance. And then there's childlike energy. Like, very playful. Bringing out the playful side of you. Same thing. It's, it's like, this is who you are now. But it's like, something you did and really liked. Of like, I don't know if you were an age or something. Or somewhere where you went. Like, it's almost like you going back to Disneyland. Like, it just feels light. But yeah, there's something about boastful, cockiness, arrogance, Peter Pan syndrome. We send Peter back to Never Never Land. He needs to go play with Cap Captain Hook in The Lost Boys. Yeah, this is like, not comp someone's not compromising. Or it's like, divine timing. But it's like, when I get divine timing in the blocked and challenged position, it means it's go time now. And I think that you've been overthinking this. Because your outcome is the tower. And the tower could be like having some kind of huge realization, a light bulb moment, or just like shock factor. There's something new coming into your awareness. Or something was built on a faulty foundation from the get-go. Like it was built on quicksand. Or this is like starting a new adventure. Like the fool card is the most powerful card in the whole deck. Because it's like willing to take a risk, willing to take the, a leap of faith, willing to roll the dice. And, you know, having clarity and truth of where you're going or this person. This is also slicing and dicing out somebody who was foolish. It's like, okay, well, if you are going to waste my time, then I have no problem blowing this tower up. But that can be like a new contract. Um, something about documentations worried about documentations or uh yeah in the page of cups pisces cancer scorpio energy i feel like you're gonna get some kind of surprise apology this is somebody who's smitten like a kitten or you're gonna be shocked that somebody has the hots for you and you know, the King of Swords can be a little bit icy and cold. But if they have their eye on you, somebody else has their eye on you here as well, Taurus. Yeah, this is like childhood home. See how it's like childhood home, childhood home? Where something that feels like home to you or this person does. Ten of Cups. See how this is like blowing up a situation, but the Ten of Cups is like returning to good health and healing. Yeah, something wasn't healing here. Or this person was like impulsive and restless and flaky and not reliable. And here, this is like new beginning, new opportunity. But this is like sensitive, shy, and letting your inner child out to play. Or some kind of situation is like catalytic for you, which busts your heart. Trust your intuition here. And Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is Aries energy. Could be going towards maybe an Aries or some of you have Aries in your chart. But with this Page of Cups, it's a surprise, a gift, an apology. Like some kind of shocking uh, an apology. Or you're just like shocking, blowing things up and being like, sorry, not sorry. Right? But that's about you developing some kind of intuitive gift as well. Or you have like somebody very shy, shy sensitive. See this shy, sensitive, um, reserved type around you. Movement. Yeah. Yeah. Movement by water, or you're on the move. Don't overthink it. See here how he has his sword up? Put that sword up to all these thoughts. Any kind of like second guessing yourself. Don't second guess yourself. Just go with the flow and see what happens. Burden. Burden. 
And that feels more of like that thought pattern. Or you feel like there's something that is a burden here. Movement forward is burdensome. It is getting you out of what is familiar. That's for sure. So it's going to feel uncomfortable. But just take a, a light, easy approach and see yourself as limitless. Yeah, you could have like a house, uh, child's childhood sweetheart here of some sort. Birth and rebirth. Yeah, the death and rebirth of self. And this is the phoenix rising from the ashes. I feel like it goes burden, right? So stressing and overthinking something. Movement or here it goes burden, death and rebirth. So this is like you coming out of a situation more stronger, more powerful, more braver than you ever thought possible. So like there's a catalytic energy that like you either lost your mojo from a person or um, I don't know if this person wouldn't bend or compromise. Spirit, integrity, connection to the angelic round. The eagle. Eagles fly high and soar oh you're gonna soar to great heights or this could also be like uh flying the death and rebirth and then see how i have these ages this is 50 43 and 36 you could actually be that age now yeah and it's like you having a death and rebirth Diamond, you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift right here. Door, opportunities are waiting for you. But because you're in that little light, easy, frisky kitty, and you have a smitten like a kitten, you are loved. Hammock, taking a vacation, either physical or mental. Yeah, signing documents. Clouds, temporary problems. It, I feel like it's this energy. Wreath, sorrow over a loss. Yeah. We don't actually lose things. Um, people come into our lifetime for a reason, season, and or a lifetime. Once we learn that lesson, we get to advance and move forward. And dog protection from a powerful friend this could be a fun friend they might be younger than you might be a, a fire sign could be an air fire water sign specifically and valley deep personal strength and peace that assures success camel persevere and you will overcome problems yes and just place a boundary with yourself about these negative thoughts. They're very intrusive and it's getting in the way of what you want to do here. And cobweb protected from negative forces beyond your control. Yeah, see how it's been blocked? It's like, um, whatever this person that's really hard to compromise or has anger issues or something, um, is almost on ice. Or they're being, you know taken out of your life here and protected from uh, negative forces beyond your con control and pay attention to your health. Yes. More rest, get more rest, get more sleep. And you know, you're burning too much energy of overthinking something. Don't overthink it. Just take a lighter approach. Take one day at a time and the risk is worth it. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how this resonates with you. Like, share, subscribe, and Taurus, if you want to book a private reading with me, you can do so in the description box below. Click on the link. It will take you to the website, and you can check out the option, options there. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.